Welcome back to another video with me, ARC Exotics. Now in this video, we're going to talk about what is behind me right here. Yes, that is right, it is a new Exoterra Frogs & Co tank and we've made it fully bioactive for our Crested Gecko. So let's take a look. So firstly, for you guys that didn't know, this tank where our Crested Gecko lives is actually our bedroom tank. Um, it's not in the reptile room, but as you walk in the door, wow, how cool does that look? So uh, what we're going to do, show you a little outside of the tank and then we'll get into detail and talk about spec and what is going on. But um, yeah, say so from the first point of view, looks pretty good and we've also got the Exoterra cabinet as well. Um, we just keep our MacBook on there and the Tereski light along with our mat stat. And this is a little bit different. As you can see, look at the background. You probably can't see it too well, maybe down here, a little bit better. Um, it's got a cork background. Now this is how I bought it from the person that had it previous. Done a pretty good job and we're going to talk all about that as well. So firstly, let's keep it simple, go with the outside. Like I said, Exoterra cabinet coming up with the new, I think it's 45, 45, 45 Exoterra Frogs & Co. Now obviously we are running the Tereski lighting system on the top as well. So we've got this just here. Basically that is controlled by this little sensor just that you can stick on wherever you please, um, obviously by the remote. And then we've got the big difference with the new tank being half of it is vented mesh and the other half is hard plastic. So um, yeah, that does look pretty cool. As you can see from the top, that obviously holds the humidity a lot better. There you go, a bit of a better angle where you can see the light. And also if you want, it does make it possible to run a UVB across there as well, which is pretty good. Um, I'm not going to mess about the lights too much because he is in there, but you can change them to red, blue, you can do like a thunder setting, there's so many cool things you can do, but um, yeah, we just basically have it on the white one for the day, and then the blue one for the night, um, and again, this light doesn't heat up as much as a jungle dawn, keeps nice and cool, and doesn't burn the plants, and the plants haven't been in there for long, but I found the jungle dawn, I either had the plants too high or the jungle dawn too low and it was scolding a lot of the plant tops but these to seem to be doing okay for now um, we haven't had this set up long, only a couple of days but yeah, in terms of the outside there's not much to talk about other than that um, obviously from a visual point of view you haven't got the horrible split line where the two doors open up either side you just got one nice clean panel which unlocks with a different mechanism if it will focus there you are, so it's just two little squares so you just push and that opens up and then to shut it in, push the square down so um, again a lot easier, something you could do with one hand as well sometimes you couldn't always unlock the exoterras with two hands you had to use two hands, sorry, instead of one um, so yeah, that basically covers the outside of the tank. So let's talk about the inside. So we'll actually open up this big door. Look how big the door looks, being one just whole panel. Um, so inside here, this is an upgrade for our Crested Gecko, who was in the old Exoterra Mini Tool, um, almost like the Paladarian ones. So what we've done is we've brought over his ledge, and his herptile hammocks because he always sleeps in that and then everything else is new now he is actually somewhere here on shot whether you can see him or not um, but like I say I can't show you too much of the background because you just you just won't be able to see it it's quite dark back there hence possibly running another UVB underneath might be beneficial um, which I think we're probably going to do but yeah, that is basically just your average cork bark background. That has been siliconed on and there is a mat behind it, but on the outside of the glass, not the inside. Um, and that heats up nicely. So his temp is currently 25.5C, which is pretty perfect. Now, other than that, everything is pretty real. Um, he's got his coconut hide. Now, the guy that I bought this tank off previous actually put some cork bark rounds in the back of the background as you can see here and they kind of come out and act as like a as like a ledge like a hide if I can just show you in there look 
So yeah, they act as a pretty good camouflaged hide. Same with that little one there. And um, obviously, Rolo, the Crested Gecko, is just down there. If you can see him. <laughs> but um, there we go. Just about seeing him down there. But he's enjoying himself. Definitely, there we go. Definitely does appreciate the upgrade. Woke him up because you can see him breathing. But yeah, the upgrade is doing well for him. Like I say, we brought over a couple of things in terms of the hammock and the ledge. But other than that, we've got new things like this vine, sort of mossy stick thing. Um, we got this log. Now, if you're from the UK, you know that reptile wood is so expensive. Now, I got this from the range under the fish section. I think it was £15. Um, joking aside, in a pet shop would cost me about 40 50 quid. Uh, great bit of log, really heavy, really sturdy, solid log. So um, yeah, if you're in the UK, definitely look at the fish section in your local range. And these little bits of cork here, we've got for isopods. <coughs> now we've got orange greys and dairies, I'm not sure what's going to be under what. Here we go, good little mix. So we've got some greys running the boat, a couple of free dairies and the rest oranges. and put that back without disturbing them too much and same again with this side I don't know what we'll have but it's just a little mix of everything kind of thing they're just a couple of greys and an orange or two um, but yeah so it's fully bioactive we've got the drainage layer oh we've got absolutely loads down there not that it's focusing anyway um, yeah right, so we've got the isopods in there, we've got all the live plants, so what we've got, I'm really bad with live plant names, so we've got this little guy here at the front, um, yeah it just looks really cool, thought it would be nice just to have it at the front kind of sticking out, it's not touching the glass yet so it's an ideal size, and then we've got this species of spider plant, don't know exactly what one, but it's not so lime green, more dark green, and it's a bit more dense as well, as you can see there quite thick and then we got this bought as a singular plant but split into three so one bit there one at the back and one in that corner there which you should be able to see underneath here there you go so one two and three so yeah that basically covers the tank fully bioactive logs isopods haven't got any springtails yet and a little coconut hide how could I forget that Little coconut hide, I've put it so I can't see the hole from this point of view, so I can see him from here. Make it feel a little bit more secure for him. And his humidity gauge probe and thermostat probe are all there as well. And as you can see the background as well, not as thick as the exoterra stuff. And obviously crickets can't eat through it because it is bark, not like sort of polythene. So um, yeah, pretty cool background and he can get a really good grip on it as well. He's probably getting tired of me talking. <laughs> yeah, but he definitely looks happy in there. He's definitely exploring. And yeah, I just can't get over the light as well. I think the light is great. So obviously this is the kind of first part of our whole big upgrade. Um, now, I know I said to you guys in the previous video, we've got loads of upgrades coming. That is all in the works of coming along nicely. But the very first step was getting the bedroom tank sorted which was this guy, because his old tank, the mini tool, is now gone to the gargoyle gecko in the reptile room. So he's also got an upgrade as well. And then from there, everything will kind of um, form into place after that. So now we've got him done. The gargoyle has also had a bioactive upgrade, which he's now in as well, which I'll do a separate video on. But if you do want to see it already, it is on my Instagram, ARC Exotics, so check it out there. But yeah, we, we will be doing a full video on that as well. Um, but I don't know if I want to show you the reptile room yet. It's a little bit of a mess, but if I show you it, you'll see stuff that's going on. And um, yeah, there's some pretty cool stuff in there at the minute. So I'm trying to avoid it if I can because there's so much glass in there from all the tanks. The, the amount of reflections, I'm sure somebody will see something. But I'm trying to keep it all under wraps until it's all done and dusted. I'm going to film along the way, but I'll release it after it's done. But yeah, everybody, apart from the Tegu for now, is getting an upgrade. Um, and it all starts with Rolo in the bedroom and now we've got Garg in the reptile room and then from there it will go Hognose, Ball Python, Ball Python, Leopard Gecko, 
frog. Uh, I think that's it for now. But um, yeah, like I say, really happy with the new tank from Exoterra. It's not brand new, but I mean, still pretty new in terms of Exoterra releasing a tank. Um, ever since I've been sort of growing up and getting into the reptile hobby, they've always had that standard black two door Exoterra tank. That's just what I've grown up with and always known the only sort of top glass tanks to go for are them ones. So it's great to see something new, and I love the big viewing panel. Just now, like, look at it there. No split in the middle, no horrible sort of front venting system. Yeah, and obviously, oh, I didn't tell you as well. Not that you can see, because it's so condensated, but I have actually got the new drainage as well from the Frogs & Co range. Try and add a photo up here or here. But um, it's not so fine like the bio balls. It's more kind of like rockery. Um, and that seems to be working really well. And obviously, I've got the drainage here as well because there is an outlet underneath this tank where you can drain the water from so obviously with your bioactive tanks you have a lot of water because you're spraying a lot of your plants to keep them thriving so when they do take on too much water you don't want the bottom of the tank to then go stagnant and smelly now people come up with ways to do this in the old exoterras where you could drain it out with a little pump and stuff like this um, there's a lot of little tricks, but obviously Exoterra have realised that and taken that on board when designing this new one. Um, so now that isn't a problem at all. I haven't actually had to drain mine yet, but it's only sort of not even a week old. So the time it gets bedded in, I might have to in the future. But the point is, the option's there if you want it, and it's always good to have because you can just close the valve when you're not needing to drain it. So yeah, if you do need to give something a big heavy water down, at least you know that you're not going to have really soggy, wet substrate for a couple of days, and you're not going to have that horrible build-up of water like most people have about that high on their bioactive tanks where they just can't get rid of it. So that's another cool feature I forgot about. But other than that, I think that basically covers this video. I was going to do a build video, but I didn't get the tank till the evening time. And my bedroom is so dark and dreary, especially being we are now in our winter in the UK. So it starts getting dark at about half three, four o'clock. So yeah, you get home from work and you basically are in black. So a little bit rubbish time of year for filming and stuff. But I thought I don't want to sort of... Um, lose too much concentration on doing the tank over filming just because I haven't filmed for a while I thought I'll just get the tank up running everything going and you know how it should be and then I'll do a video afterwards but all the other stuff like the new build tanks in there in the reptile room I will be filming and I will be doing step by steps and stuff like that so definitely stick around for that that is all going to be coming in the next sort of well from now to the run up of Christmas really so a lot will be going on but other than that Thank you for watching this video of the bioactive build for the Crested Gecko. Now the next one will be the Gargoyle Gecko's bioactive tank. And then from there we'll just continue. So other than that, thank you for watching the video. And now we're going to get back on the grind and start pumping them out right through till Christmas and the new year. And we'll go from there. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for the Gargoyle tank build next week.